guys. Friday. How about that? T-G-I-F. Thank God. And speaking of God, uh, we had a real bad storm last night. It was about 6.30, 6.45-ish. Uh, it lasted about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. And that wind was so powerful. I was almost scared that we were going to get a tornado because we had winds up to 85 miles per hour. That's the fastest I've ever been in. I was, my kids were nervous. The lights were flickering on and off. Uh, my trash cans were blowing everywhere. My basketball goal fell down. Uh, it was crazy. But thank God that that was it. It blew over. Uh, my fence was intact. Roof was intact. I mean, we live in a brand new neighborhood, so uh, houses are pretty sturdy. Still, Everything's still really new. And um, not to say that that would matter if it was a tornado, but, you know, it was, my house was able to, our, the, the community was able to withstand the winds. But just thank God. I always put them first. Because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Because we don't always know. We wake up every morning assuming our life is off assumption. We're assuming that we're going to go to work. We're going to make it to work. Yeah. You just never know. Just like this topic I'm about to talk about. Y'all know me. I don't make a video during the I think season. Unless 1980 is concerned. Out of concern. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. I've been really living life. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. But I've been living. Going to work. Paying bills. Buying groceries. Taking care of the kids. Living. I no longer let this YouTube consume me. I've been really, really happy and calm. My nerves are just, just, I mean, I'm just, I'm sharp as a knife right now. Because I don't have to deal with, yeah, don't have to deal. So this is a peaceful time for me. But I was listening to the radio. Read a couple of articles here and there. Y'all know the combine is, is going on right now. I really don't give a damn. I, I just, I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, I, I may peek in, but it, it, it doesn't do any good. I mean, half the guys that you're going to fall in love with, we're probably not going to draft anyway. You know the Cowboys. We don't we don't go after real, real, real dogs, real talent. So... You know, um, but I overheard Coach Mike McCarthy talking about Kellen Moore and how, uh, you know, Kellen Moore is a, uh, he's a great coach. He's a great offensive coordinator for us. And he always sounds like he's tired. He always breathed in between, in between syllables, in between words and shit. You know, Kellen Moore, he's a, he's a great guy. Uh, we just got to get out there and, uh, play complimentary football. Uh, you know, everything is complimentary football for him. Uh, we got to get out there and go back to the basics. You know, uh, I, I, hell, I want to run the damn ball. Mike McCarthy wants to run the football. In other words, he's tired of, he was tired of Kellen Moore's philosophy. On pass, pass, pass. Run up the scoreboard. Even on third and one, we're passing. He was tired of that. So now Mike McCarthy wants to run the football. A formula that we've gotten away from since 2017, 18 maybe. Yeah, I I would like to run the football too. It's easy to say that 
But there's a difference between saying something and doing something. I would like to win a million dollars. I would like to go pay cash for a brand new car. Don't even have to worry about it, no. Just, hey, 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 give me that uh, 2024. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 not, not the red one. I want the, the black. Yeah, that one right there. Well, uh, Mr. Jackson, uh, what, what, what finance? Come? No, 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 no. I'm paying I'm cash money in my hand. Right here. Here you go. Don't need no note. Right here. I would love to do that. There's a lot of things I would like to do. Yeah. But it's doing it. And that's different. We haven't ran the ball consistently since 2000, what? 17, 18? Uh, it worked 2014 to 17-ish. Uh, but we went away from it. Uh, we, we, we had the it was easy to do it then because we had uh, the great, one of the, the best offensive line in football, the great wall of Dallas number two. And, and, and we had a, a, a young, energetic, healthy Zeke and, 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 and a young Dak. And we, we had pieces to do that. We haven't had a healthy, consistent offensive line since then. In order to run the football, you have to solve the problem first. See, the Dallas Cowboys have a hard time solving problems. It's more than just running the football. Yeah, it, it, running the football is, is a big part of the offense. You, you control the clock management. You give your defense a rest. You control the game. Even when they know you're going to run it, they still can't stop it. We ain't been like that in years. So he, he says, we, he, I want to run the football like you can just turn the switch off and on. Okay, we're going to run it. Motherfucker, we ain't been able to run it. Luckily, we, luckily we had pilot speed to get out of situations to run the ball. Because Zeke ain't got nothing left. I'm sorry, Zeke, but it's, it's a wrap. You've been great for us. I love everything you did, but still haven't made a video about Zeke. I made one about that. Still haven't made one about Zeke, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get there. But anyway, the Dallas Cowboys... Before learning how to run the football, they have to learn how to solve problems first. This team, this organization has a problem. It's been, it's been having a problem for almost 30 years. That's why we haven't been to a Super Bowl. Because we have a problem. And it ain't just running the football. The problem was we had a quarterback that we put all our hope, all our power, all our will, all our faith into. And the son of a gun threw two crucial interceptions in a very, very important game. We were two games away from the Super Bowl. And this son of a threw two interceptions. Just say, hey, here you go, uh, San Francisco. I don't want no part of nothing. And I love Dak Prescott to death. I, I, I think he can be a lot better than he is. But I'm losing faith in him. I don't trust him. We have an offensive line problem. We have a running back problem. We got a Tyron Smith problem that he needs to retire. We got way bigger fish to fry than just running the football. When you got 
to solve the problem first to move on. So we're going to run the football with this offensive line? Hell, we only got two, maybe three good linemen. We got the rookie last year, uh, Tyler Smith, which did a great job. I, I mean, that was a good pick. Of course, uh, Hall of Famer Zach Martin. And then uh, Terrence Steele is, is pretty good, above average. He's a, a damn good run blocker. Not very good pass blocker, but he's a damn good run blocker. But him getting hurt didn't help us. Everybody else, eh. Tyron Smith, eh. got to go. I'm sorry, man. You're a Hall of Famer. Okay, cool. Um, I, I, I can't trust you, man. You just, just got to go. It's a young man's game. A young, healthy man's game. Got to go. I'm sorry. God bless you. You and your family. The problem, the reason why we lost, which could have been a, which was a winnable game, is because of the two turnovers. That's another problem. Turnovers. We got he now we got bigger fish to fry. The flags, the turnovers, beating ourselves, helping the other team beat us. We're ranked number one in doing that. That's a problem right there. 15 interceptions led the league. That's a problem right there. There's so many fucking problems on this team. And I don't, I don't raise my voice until I start talking. About, I, I don't. I've been good until now. Until today. To this minute. 4-23. In 28 seconds, 29, 30, I've been good. I've been okay until today. Yeah. So I'm looking for the Dallas Cowboys to spend this, I think, season to spend time solving problems first. Before we start getting up here talking about what the hell we're going to be doing. What the hell we want to do. I ain't really that one for talk anyway. Actions speak louder than words. Quit talking to us, man. Quit, matter of fact, quit interviewing this dude, man. Everybody that's interviewing him need to be slapped. All these media guys, man. What are you going to say the same shit? He said last week, in the week before, in the week before, in the week before that. I don't even listen. I, ac I accidentally heard the shit today. By accident. Because the, the, the station was left on in my truck, my work truck. I, I have to get away. I can't do this shit. I don't see how people on here, they still doing it. I get it. More power to you. God bless you. Not 1980, not no more. I can't. Every now and then, like today, every now and then, yeah, okay, cool. When something come up, when I am concerned about the Cowboys, but they ain't paying that one damn bill. They ain't gassing up not one of these three, four vehicles I got. They ain't gassing up my work truck. They didn't buy them damn donuts. I, I, I spent $6 on this morning. Now, if they was get out there winning and, and had a couple of Super Bowls recently, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'd be doing interviews and going out, out of my way. Uh-uh. Quit talking, man. That's one thing I can't stand. A coach get up there and talk. Jimmy Johnson didn't do that shit. When he talked, he backed it up. Back up something. All you doing is brief. Yeah, well, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. Uh, yeah, we got Dak Prescott. Uh, he's an exceptional football player. And uh, uh, we got Kellen, oh, Kellen Moore's gone, I forgot. Yeah, he's gone. Good riddance, I'm glad. Now I get to run the football. Yeah, complimentary football. Uh huh.
Solve the problem first, man. Then we can talk about it. Yeah. Then we can talk about everything else. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. I'll let you boy.